Guess who? Uh, Megan Fox, one of the Desperate Housewives. <laughs> no, Joan Calamazzo. Hey, Joni, oh. what's up, gorgeous? Good to see you. Tom comes on the show all the time. Joan loves him. You have the softest skin of any woman in Pawnee. Thank you. I wish you could reach from your TV screen and just touch Joan's skin for a second. Oh, that's You'd sweet. You're pretty soft yourself. How are your kids doing? They're pretty good. Is it tough for them to have a mother that is so beautiful? What's it like being the most attractive woman in Pawnee? You keep up those funnies. I'm gonna have to invite you over for supper. Uh, well, I'll have to come over for supper. Oh, well. <laughs> I can prove it. She has a mole on her right buttock. What? That is a total lie. You've never seen my butt. What are you talking about? He has never seen my butt. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess it's your word against his. I mean, <laughs> fine. Here, Joan. Why don't you look for yourself? Is this happening? Wait. There's no mole. There is no mole. This exclusive story. There is no mole on Miss No. That segment was a disaster. Don't you ever f me like that again? This is Pawnee f today. Do you know that I bumped a cat that can stand up on its hinders for you? You disgust me, no. Get out of my sight. Yes, ma'am. Go on. Go on. No, 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 no. No, don't make me chase you. You want to go eat something? OK. Hello, and welcome to Pawnee Today. I'm Joan Calamezzo. Today's guest is Leslie Nope, who is here to tell us how this year's Harvest Festival is going to bankrupt the city. Well, Joan, actually, there's a lot of false information flying around. The Harvest Festival Just is... jumping right in. <laughs> it's rude. Who doesn't do dumb stuff when they're 18? Joan? Stole my gym teacher's husband. Blah, blah, murder. Murder the most melons. Shaquille showered shame on Shaquille. But the real coup is over there. Lil Sebastian. Are you kidding me? It pains me to say this, but great job here. Thank you. <laughs> that went well. Yeah, it did. Take that curse. Take that curse. Sorry? Ooh. Was this about a curse? Hmm? Curse? What? What? Nothing. No. Did you? Leslie! No. Leslie! It's little Sebastian. He's gone. Jay let him escape, and we don't know where he is. Keep those cameras up. We've got a new intro to do. <laughs> gotcha. Let's go ahead, let's get some shots of chipped paint and crying babies. How about some of those spooky traffic lights? Okay, you know the drill. Joan Calamezzo. Oh, yeah, hi, Ben Wyatt. We, we've met. I don't think so. Yeah, I was on your show. Nope. <laughs> I'm trying to find the words to describe this girl without being disrespectful. So, Leslie, you're a real native of Pawnee, aren't you? Yes, I was born and raised here, Joan. And I love the town so much, I literally wrote the book on it. I have it right here. And also in this hand right here, I have a sticker, which when applied legally determines the newest selection of Jones Book Club. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> where's it? Over here? Oh. Back here? <laughs> where's it now? Come on, Come stick on. it. <laughs> oh, hang stick on. the sticker. Stick no, the no, 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 not it. so fast. Put it on. We received a tip that you Leslie, born and raised Nope, were not born in Pawnee. What? Gotcha! And because you lied about it, we cannot make this a book club selection. I was born in Pawnee. I'd stake my reputation on it. I have to tell you, this feels like gotcha journalism. In what way? That way. You put gotcha on my face. After the break, where is Leslie Nope actually born? Pawnee! We will pull out the world map and speculate wildly. <laughs> When I was 18, Val Kilmer saw me at a mall and told me I should model. <laughs> that never happened. So, Joan, how is married life treating you? Your husband still know he's the luckiest man in the world? Santino and I are divorcing. Oh. It's actually quite liberating. I'm a woman with a strong sexual appetite. I'm like a caged peacock yearning for the wind on her haunches. It's a powerful metaphor. Maybe we can get that book club sticker in order and we can work on unlocking that peacock cage. Things have changed, Tom. Don't make any promises you can't keep. 
I'll have another drink, and so will this adorable hunk of caramel to my right. Drink up, Tom. I'm gonna go powder my nose, amongst other things. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Is she gonna powder her vagina? And let's hear it for the boys! Wow, that was as long as it was loud. <sighs> Take me home, Dumpling. It's Betty time. Uh, hey, Ben, you like Star Trek? Talk about that for a little bit. They're making a sequel. I'm assuming with the same alternate timeline, but if J.J. Abrams and company expect us to believe that it's Spock with the romantic tension with Uhura and not Kirk, well, let's just say the message boards are going nuts. I wanna take you both home and bend you over and just at the same time. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What the hell? Okay, let's get her on the bed. Okay. Oh my One, God! Two, three. <laughs> Joan, thanks so much for having Leslie back on the program. Wow. Thank you for getting me home last night. I wasn't uh, <clears throat> feeling very well because of some bad seafood that I ate. Yes, that's probably what it was. I'm Pert Happily. And I am legendary newswoman Joan Calamezzo, newly single. This question about public safety comes from Twitter because apparently that's something that happens now. Pawnee City Council approval rate is at a dismal 3%. <laughs> it's an all-time low. Mm, yuck. Leslie, the City Council has done very little over the past few years, and what they have accomplished, in my opinion, has been embarrassing, and that is a fact. No, that's your opinion. It's the definition of an opinion. Well, that's your opinion. Hello. I'm here for the interview about tonight's gala. Yeah, listen, I'm a little under the weather. Went on a booze cruise last week. Just finished up an hour ago. <laughs> on a completely unrelated note, I have horrible allergies. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. But I do need to promote this event. Well, don't worry about me. I'm a In true five, professional. The show four, must three, go on. <laughs> two. Hello, I'm Joan Calamazzo. Today's show will not go on. All right, let's burn this candle. Yeah, Joan, if we could just have a moment, we need to uh, get ready. Oh, no, no, we gotta go. Yeah, the uppers are kicking in. Just took some lewds to kind of smooth it out, so I'm right in that sweet spot. Got about 20 minutes before I either get really tired or really horny, so let's roll. Doug and Rosie DeMarco, 50 years. <sighs> Tell us how you first met. Well, it was 1963, and we met. And uh, yeah, it was great. <laughs> Isn't love grand? And 50 so, years of marriage, helping to bridge the meaningless divide between Pawnee and Eagleton. Uh, yeah, my show, my questions. So, yes, great question. I have been thinking of rebranding myself. What do you think about Juan Calamezzo? Isn't Juan a, a man's name? No, it means flower. I think it means John. Joan, on behalf of the entire city, congratulations. I do want to apologize for not being able to accommodate some of your requests. For example, we couldn't get a bottle of Chateau Marmont because it's a hotel in Los Angeles, not a wine. Well, did you at least get Buddy Holly to sing? No, because he's been famously dead for 60 years. What? Hi, Joan. Hi, my name is April, and I'm your biggest fan, and oh. I pretty much hate everyone. Will you sign your ninth memoir for me? Well, it would be my pleasure. You said your name was Glenn? Yes, I did. That's pretty. Joan has always been kind of a train wreck, but the last three years, she's gone off the deep end. She did a string of shows from rehab. Victoria Herzog, you were a successful attorney from Wilmington, Delaware, then you hit rock bottom. This is supposed to be anonymous. She once gave every member in her audience a car, one car, that they all had to fight for. Oh, and last year she did a show where she called all of her ex-boyfriends while sitting on a washing machine. Well, Eric, if you didn't give it to me, then who did? Mm -hmm.